So have you ever been sitting there watching TV and you're like, wow, this is amazing. I'm watching Netflix. But if I could be watching Netflix on a Windows computer with 8.1, it would be so awesome. But I just don't want to go over and hook up my computer. Or you don't have an HDMI port to connect to your computer. So what if there was a simple way to basically take a very small device and hook it up to your television? Well, Intel has actually created a stick. They call it the computer stick. And basically it's their best shot at trying to compete, I think, with Apple TV, you know, the Amazon Fire, and, and the Chrome uh, device. So, so basically what you have here is you have an, uh, an Intel uh, quad-core processor. It's only 1.33 gigahertz processor. It is running on a 64-bit quad-core, though, and this comes stock with 2 gigs of RAM. Uh, obviously, with this size, you're not going to expand any of this. It has 32 gigs of memory, uh, Intel HD graphics. Uh, it's very small, and this is running full Windows 8.1 on a 32-bit processor. Impressions are, you know, first of all, out of the box. It's actually really uh, very small, uh, very sleek. It does look like a memory key. Uh, you get this um, little adapter to plug in to your television. And like most people, if you haven't been behind your TV in a while, uh, typically those HDMI ports are, are pretty much full. So you got to unplug something and really fish your hands behind there and, and figure it out uh, to try to get that plugged in is, is kind of a task. Uh, what would have been better is if they would have done a, ma a female to female connector. And that way you could go to one of your devices that's already plugged in and easily plug this in uh, to one of those connectors. Um, the other thing is you will need a, a physical plug. You can plug in to an H, excuse me, an uh, USB port, but my experience is the USB port is not going to give you sustainable um, energy and you will get interruptions and it's already kind of an underpowered device to begin with. So USB is probably not going to cut it. Um, so you are going to need to plug it in. Um, and then the other thing is, when you start this thing up, you are installing 8.1. So you need to have some type of keyboard connected. What I used is I used a, a very simple Logitech uh, wireless keyboard mouse connection. And it has a uh, USB connector. Now this only does have one USB connector on it, so if you wanted to have an independent mouse, you're gonna to have to run that off Bluetooth, which it does have, Bluetooth capabilities. And then what I did is I immediately, immediately daisy chained it uh, with a built-in um, connector. So what seemed like a fairly simple, out-of-the-box installation, plug and play, actually turned into you know an afternoon of kind of gathering up devices and. Uh, mixing and matching and a trip to, you know, your local uh, electronics store to get all the pieces to come together. So once you've gone through and powered this up, I'd usually power it up on a small screen, do the installation of 8.1, put in all the information, etc. And then I did have access to a 70-inch uh, large high-definition television. And so hooking it up was fairly easy. It did have a uh, mount that did kind of tilt and swivel, so I could I could dip behind there pretty easily. The one thing that you'd want to have is a dedicated power device, like I mentioned before. So this one did have that. Um, once you plug in, the device automatically will turn on and, and begin to boot. So once you are, you know, you're, you're all connected there, the, the device will go through a boot. Uh, boot is about a minute to two minutes um, to get it booted. And then once you're in, you'll actually go through and um, 
I started kind of playing with some of the video functionality. So all your applications will run on the device. So for instance, if you're running any Microsoft product, etc., it's going to run a little bit slower than what you're used to with a, with a laptop. What I like to do from a video processing point of view is I run a standard video. Any high definition video works really well. The video that I typically will use to kind of see as a standard um, for downloading and processing a video is the second largest aquarium in the world. It's actually in Japan. There's a video of that uh, on YouTube. And immediately what you'll notice is that the device is slow. <laughs> slow in processing the internet speed, slow in rendering the video. Um, I immediately went to the, the highest quality of video and it just was not uh, kind of keeping up. So my, my take on this, it's a good device, not a great device. I would use it uh, in limited quality uh, or, or, you know, uh, I would use it in a limited fashion. But ultimately, if I have another hundred bucks to spend, I'm going to invest that somewhere else. Um, it's, a great, it's a great idea, though. I think the technology will ultimately catch up. Um, if you do have any questions, comments, feedback, advice, you know, let us know, uh, Anthony at youdoav.com or Alan at youdoav.com. And um, like and subscribe.